So, und herzlich willkommen bei Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Ja, yep. das neue Spiel von Scott. Andere sagen FNAF 6. Ja, es kam gestern raus. Ich habe es auf Twitter gesagt, das geht bei mir heute online. Und ich würde sagen, wir schauen uns das jetzt an. Mhm. Und bitte nicht vergessen, wenn ihr es noch nicht gemacht habt, klickt unten auf Abonnieren. Daumen hoch, wäre richtig geil. Mhm. Press Enter. Okay, Design. Pizza, go to Pizzeria. Okay. Was haben wir hier? Okay, was können wir sagen? Pepperoni, Wurst, Zwiebeln, Champignons, Oliven. Nein. Okay, das wäre ein bisschen... <lacht> ein bisschen äh, hardcore besser. Nee, warte, warte mal. Wurst, Pilze, Zwiebeln. Das, das passt doch für eine Pizza. Ja, ja. Fertig. Und jetzt zur Pizzeria. Und ja, eins. Ja, ihr kriegt schon alle was. Da, da. Und du. Ist es alles? Uh. Ich glaube. Ja, das kann doch nicht alles sein. Also, Scott hat ja gesagt, das ist eher so ein bisschen Minigame. Eine Minigame, so ein kleines, spaßiges Spiel. Aber wenn es wirklich alles ist, das wäre ein bisschen minimalistisch. Aber okay. Ist okay. Ey, ist es gratis. Bum. Wirkt! Aber zweimal Freddy? Die kriegen trotzdem ihre Pizza! Mhm. Jetzt los mit. Durch! Blader Freddy! Also, ich krieg die Pizza schon rüber. Ich krieg sie schon rüber. Geh weg! Also! Nam nam! Oder muss ich einfach noch weit genug weg. Nee, nee, der bewegt sich. Ich schmeiß einfach mal all over the place! Also, sie es geht doch. Alles geht alles, wenn man will. Geh mal weg. Jetzt. Äh, warte mal. Punkt, ich krieg da mal. Warte, 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 warte. Tschüss. Warte, 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 was ist jetzt los? Warte, 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 was ist jetzt los hier? Ich schmeiß hier mit Shadow Freddy's. Oder graue Freddy's. Baby. Hä? Äh? Das ist ja kein Pizzeria-Simulator. Äh. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. 3, 2, 1. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following yeah. audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, You are not to return. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Boah, das ist echt creepy mit dem Sound. Document results. Äh. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Okay, die reagiert gar nicht drauf. Document results. I said. An audio prompt in three, two, one. Eh, also der Sound der ist echt ekelhaft. Da kommt das ein Jump Scare. Document results. Nö. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? 
we're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management, something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it, and that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Okay. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Well, it's got Afton to Sap Guide. Wir können im Katalog wo es gehen, also den benutzen, dass wir uns Sachen kaufen können, auch Animatronics. Und im Blueprint Mode können wir die Sachen platzieren. Ich bin bereit. Erst You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Here am I. To try and do some shopping. Also, der Mini Phantom Freddy, der sieht echt süß aus, hey. Ah, uh, ist mal auf. Das hier. Was können wir noch so kaufen? Wir können uns viel kaufen. Cooling Unit. Yes. 45 haben wir noch. Das wäre Entertainment. Mr. Can Do. Vielleicht die beiden. 25 haben wir noch. Hm. Ja, ich glaube, das reicht. Mhm. Was Sponsorship Offer? 250 Dollar. Ja. Also, wir können hier die Sachen platzieren. Und für 250 Dollar können wir den Raum upgraden. Das sieht schon mal verdammt gut aus. Also, pass auf, wo stellen wir die Sachen hin? Da kann man nichts hinstellen. Okay. Ah ja, der Fan, der ist da. La la la. Sonst haben wir jetzt ja gerade nichts. Mm -mm. Okay, finished. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day. <laughs> 
money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. Uh -huh. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining areas. Like it. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. Uh -huh. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Ich höre nix, es flackert. Das wird böse. Hey, Jemet! Boah, das ist böse gerade. Das endet nicht gut. Es endet nicht gut. Ich habe die Poster schon gesehen, die Bilder da. Der Clown ist mal aber neu. Okay, ich bin tot. Nicht schamsgern. Es wird wärmer. Es wird wärmer. Great job. <lacht> looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday. And you should view that day as your ultimate test. Uh -huh. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Da wird bestimmt Jumpscare kommen. Uh -huh. Right? Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Okay. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, 
will decrease the item's salvage value. Alles klar. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Fünf von ja, okay, versuchen wir mal das zu bergen. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as your taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. Uh -huh. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Bewegt sich noch nicht. Document results. Hey, du bewegst dich. Begin audio prompt in two, one. Boom. Mir wäre es egal, ob der Wert runtergeht. Ganz ehrlich gerade. Ich möchte ihn haben. Document results. Nein. Begin audio. Ich gehe das Risiko nicht ein. Audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Das ist ein ekelhaftes Gefühl, wenn du einen Animatronic anstarrst und er dich jeden Moment angreifen kann. Document results. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Document results. Begin audio. Das haben wir glaube ich nur noch einmal. Okay, das wären aber 500. 500. Aber er bewegt sich nur, wenn ich ihn nicht anschaue. Das ist lang, das ist extrem lang. Gut, dass ich ihn getasert habe. Document results. Nein! You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. Geschafft. Fun time Freddy. 23 Besucher. A Salvage Revenue 500 Dollar. Und ja, wir wurden nicht verklagt. Sehr schön. Dienstag. Aber ich würde sagen, dann mache ich hier erstmal einen kleinen Break. Es ist nicht, was man denkt bei Pizza Simulator. Oder Pizzeria Simulator. Ganz ehrlich, hey, das ist für mich ein vollwertiges Nerv. Bin schon gespannt, wie es weitergeht. Mhm. Ja, dann sei mal, ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Und man sieht sich beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bis dann.